I want to continue with the idea of bi uh, multiplying binomials. This is from pages 17 and 18. It will take us right up to the checkup then. This is the last thing we've got to nail before you can review and do the, uh, the checkup. Sometimes we have a term, a binomial, and the whole binomial is being squared. Okay? So students are tempted to look at that and say, oh, I know what that is. That's y squared minus 12 times 12 is 144. And that's not correct. That would be wrong. So how do we actually do this? The best way is just to write it out in long form. y minus 12 times y minus 12. And then remember our FOIL method. Okay, first, outer, inner, last. So the first is indeed y squared, but then the outer is negative 12y, the inner is negative 12y, and now I have negative 12 times negative 12, negative times negative, I actually get positive, so there's the 144, but notice it's positive, not negative, and I have these two middle terms and they don't cancel out. They only cancel out if one is positive and the other is negative. And so, to finish this, we have to say y squared minus, add them together, 24y plus 144. Ah, okay. Now they throw some in with fractions, okay? Those always make it interesting. Again, don't cheat, don't chimp. Um, write it out. Don't try to do this in your head. You will get it wrong. So, x plus 1 third, the quantity squared, write it out. Now let's try it x times x, x squared. x times one-third is one-third x. In the middle we get another one-third x. Are you with me? What's one-third times one-third? One-ninth. Okay? Now we can add these together. Remember they have a common denominator of three, so you can just add and keep the common denominator. I'll let you finish that one. This one has two variables. All right, four r plus 3x. We're going to write it twice. I always think this is the easiest way actually to do it. Don't try to do these in your head. 4r times 4r, 16r squared. Now let's do the outer, 4r times 3x. So we'll do the number part together, get 12rx. We get the same thing here in the middle, another 12rx. And then what's the last term? Three times three, and x times x, and I'm gonna let you finish that. So anyways, once you set it up this way, follow through, and you'll get the answer correct. Okay, I don't think you'll find that too hard. The last page right before the checkup is they have a variety of these types and just give you a little more practice. They want you to try to do them in your head. If you can't do them in your head yet and you still need to do them on paper, don't feel bad about that, all right? This often takes a lot longer than just one or two days of being exposed to it to really kind of sink in and the light bulb to come on and feel comfortable with it, all right? So if you need to on side paper, scrap paper, or take some space there on your paper, to do it, do it, all right? But uh, be careful, be accurate, and then uh, do well on your checkup. I hope you do well.